introduction of everything in Winter Siege within Call of Duty World War II, no doubt a lot of people are trying to get the most of what they can out of the supply drop content, the new weapons that are once again available via contracts, collections, special orders, and I guess you can buy them if that is how you choose to roll. I personally don't necessarily exactly enjoy that option, but it is something in which a lot of people want to get the new stuff, the new weapons, the new customization outfits, the new helmets, all kinds of things like that. And while everyone may be taking a look at the winter supply drops and how they replace the rare supply drops in World War II, one thing that a lot of people have probably just grazed over but not necessarily given too much thought about are the winter bribes within World War II. So if you were to take a look at your current inventory of supply drops in the headquarters, you'll see that you have common supply drops, rare supply drops, common zombie drops, rare zombie drops, winter supply drops, a winter bribe, and then you can end up choosing to go to the quartermaster. Now, one thing that of course many people may not have is that final one, that winter bribe, and that is kind of one of the things that I want to talk about within this one. What is it, how do you get it, and what does it guarantee? So, in this one, I'm going to be taking a look at not only that, but also some of the other cool stuff you can get out of how this is connected. So, that said, let's jump into how you end up getting a winter bribe. So, first things first, it seems like at the moment, there's only available one per account. And this is because you end up having to link your account with your Call of Duty and Activision account in order to link it one more time to your Twitch Prime account, which is a combination of your Twitch and Amazon account, something in which you have to have your Amazon account with Amazon Prime linked to your your Twitch account and it's something that if you guys follow the Twitch Prime stuff they often have a lot of different loot for various different games so it's actually a really cool system but unless you're on Twitch a lot unless you end up having to do a lot of online shopping you might not piece the two together but Twitch Prime is offering for the Winter Siege event the exclusive winter bribe and then one additional winter supply drop as well as an exclusive camo which unfortunately is only in zombies but it's still pretty awesome but this is all once again encompassed if you have Twitch Prime. So to get back to the original point of the winter bribe, once again, this is going to be bundled with one extra winter supply drop as well, which grants you, of course, the winter supply drops that you know of at the moment, one guaranteed winter siege item, and then two of the regular pool that you end up can getting from the regular supply drop pool. So everything pre-winter siege, you'll still get two of those items plus one of whatever is in the winter supply drop content that is available in the collections. If you go and take a look at all of those there's definitely not near as many items so you have still a decent chance of pulling something I personally have gotten nothing but emblems and calling cards so just by simply linking your account it's definitely nice to get some free stuff here out of this and maybe your luck will be a little bit better than mine but you'll end up getting once again that bundle of one winter supply drop and the winter bribe which the winter bribe itself is actually one step further because in the winter supply drops you only get one winter item but in the winter bribe you end up getting three winter Siege items, all of the items in the supply drop are Winter Siege items, and supposedly there are no duplicates unless you have all of the Winter Siege items already owned. Now, that's one thing in particular that I will touch on and say that I don't necessarily know if I've seen that necessarily sticking to its guns of being no duplicates. I've seen a lot of different complaints on Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, other places like that in which they've talked about having these Winter Bribes, but they still do get duplicates in it. So, it might be something that maybe you hold off on opening it immediately, but of course, course, still the grand scheme of things, it's going to give you three Winter Siege items, but hopefully it's something that if this is actually a genuine problem that a lot of people are having, hopefully it is fixed and ironed out in as quick as possible. Now, as for the Bomb Voyage camo, that's something in which, like what we saw with the pre-order camos that we got before the launch of World War II, personally, I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. And it's one of those ones that is a slightly animated camo, definitely more vibrant than some of the others, and of course, way more vibrant than the camos that we have in World War II to use multiplayer, especially since we only have those camos for the weapon progression on the camo challenges. A lot of those don't really stick well in my mind. I don't necessarily enjoy a lot of the camos. I think probably the only ones that I really care for are the ones that are past those headshot ones, the more chrome kind of looking camos, like the bronze, like the gold, like diamond even, and of course, chrome camo itself too, I'm pretty fond of. I don't have just yet, but it's something that I wish this camo, the Bomb Voyage, as well as the pre-order camo that we got before the launch of the game, and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head for the life of me, but I wish that these ones were actually in multiplayer, truthfully. I think that they look way better, and while of course, yes, the realism will lack therein with 
being vibrant camos and everything like that, but I think that they just add a little bit more of an appeal. I enjoy them a lot, but that's personally just my preference. But really, I want to showcase a little bit of this here for you guys on the weapons and everything like that, showing the Bomb Voyage camo off. But one thing that I will say is that the gameplay you watched about the Bomb Voyage camo, that's from my buddy Dex, his account, so shout out to him, his link will be down there in the description below. But the reason that it's not necessarily from my account is because, well, there's a bug going around right now in which Twitch Prime doesn't necessarily authenticate your accounts properly or in a timely fashion. If you end up going to link your accounts to Twitch Prime and Call of Duty, it's gonna take you to the World War II Twitch Prime page in which it gives you the rundown of everything, which we mentioned, the Bomb Voyage camo, the Winter Siege bundle of a Winter Bribe and a Winter Supply Drop, it takes you then to the ability to log in and connect your account, but then whenever it says you need to have one more action to connect your Call of Duty account to this, sometimes it will just give you an infinite loop in which it takes you to the login page, you log in, it shows like it's loading like you're going to be fine, and then it kicks you right back to the Twitch Prime page, in which that's the error that I'm having. And honestly, I've been really frustrated with it all day that it just won't work, there's no real fix on the horizon that I've seen, I haven't really even heard much communication with any official sources on how this will be fixed, if at all, but I'm really hoping that it will, and I can only imagine it will be, it's just a matter of time. Now, as for this, it seems like it's available the entirety of the Winter Siege event, so we should have time for this to be ironed out if this sort of error is happening to you. It's just kind of a bummer that it is happening at all. But that encompasses the Twitch Prime bundle for the Winter Siege event. Once again, that's how you get that Winter Supply Drop. You might be wondering, why is this in my inventory? Why don't I have any? And where can I get some? It sounds cool compared to some of the bribes we've had previously in which they give you guaranteed weapons or something. And while that is a very cool thing, the bribe itself only refers to getting three items of the Winter Siege event and not just one per Winter Supply Drop. And of course, you do get that Bomb Voyage camo if you guys are into zombies either as well or exclusively. It might be one of the cases in which you end up getting that and you really dig that, but you only play zombies occasionally. It's still cool. But the one thing that I will say here out of this is probably the coolest thing is that this isn't a one-time thing. Twitch Prime is really nice in how it ends up giving some exclusive rewards to players that do have an Amazon Prime account, Twitch, and then whatever game they end up playing. A lot of people really do enjoy this service, and it's the first time that Call of Duty has really taken an entry into this, which I'm very excited for as a Call of Duty player. I've gotten a lot of things from various different games, like H1Z1, I think PUBG had one at one point in time, but even right now, Tekken 7, System Shock 2, Hearthstone, Assassin's Creed Origins, Warframe, Madden 18, Overwatch, there's a lot of cool stuff that has had already content implemented via Twitch Prime, and of of course, Call of Duty being introduced to it as well now, that is beautiful. But once again, the best part, like I said, it's not a one-time thing. Currently, if you go and take a look at the Twitch Prime page for Call of Duty World War II, you'll end up seeing that in fact, it does have not one, but six events with five of them locked off and not revealed to be what the specifics are just yet, but five more are guaranteed to be coming throughout the next year. So to me, that's absolutely awesome because while of course I use Amazon Prime and Twitch for a lot of different things, it is is something that I'm getting rewarded for just having both of those five more times throughout the year. And of course, while the rewards might not be that major or that substantial, like it's just the camo and two supply drops in which you can earn two supply drops in one game if you really think about it with contracts, orders, and everything like that. Of course, it might not be a lot of loot, but it's something that I'm gonna be getting for doing what I'm already doing. And I think that's absolutely awesome. But one other cool maybe side fact is that this may point towards more seasonal events coming within World War II. Too. Obviously, we knew they were hit from Modern Warfare Remastered, with, of course, Winter Siege coming. We know they're going to be in the game, but we don't know how many and at what point in time. So, while there are six total, potentially it's one every two months so we get something for Twitch Prime, and maybe one every two months we get a seasonal event, because that could work out in the grand scheme of things of the calendar and all, but we don't know exactly just yet. But that said, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. I want to let you guys know about this on how you could cash in and get some free supply drops, both a Winter Bribe and a winter supply drop, as well as having the Bomb Voyage camo in Zombies, one that I think is very cool and I really do wish it would be making its way over into multiplayer, but it's not sadly, and we're here with what we got. But nonetheless, still free content with Twitch Prime and Amazon. Check it out if you guys have an Amazon Prime and Twitch account, if you guys have Twitch Prime at all, you've done it before, you'll know that it is something is a nice little feature here and you can't go wrong with free content. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That said, if you guys did, let me know your thoughts down there in the 
comment section down below. Firstly, are you guys a fan of the winter bribes? Are you guys a fan of the camo? Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay updated with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War II. We're gonna be killing it with the content moving forward. So hopefully you guys stick around for that and hopefully you guys are excited if you guys are interested in anything regarding best class setups, tips, tricks, news, information, DLC content. We got you covered here up on the channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But I'll let's end out of the way. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.